High in the Ethiopian mountains, a rare and beautiful creature roams. The Ethiopian wolf, with its striking red coat and bushy tail, is a sight to behold. Sadly, it is a sight that few will ever witness. With a population of less than 500 individuals, it is the rarest canid in the world. Its very existence hangs by a thread, a stark reminder of the fragility of life on our planet. Every encounter with this elusive animal is a privilege, a glimpse into a world often hidden from our view. Their piercing gaze seems to hold ancient wisdom, a deep connection to the rugged landscape they call home. The Ethiopian wolf's story is one of resilience, of adaptation to a challenging environment and of the urgent need for our help to ensure its survival. The Ethiopian wolf is a creature of the heights, found only in the Afro-Alpine meadows and moorlands of Ethiopia. These islands in the sky are scattered across a handful of mountain ranges, separated by a sea of lower-lying land unsuitable for the wolves. This isolation makes each population particularly vulnerable, as there is little to no exchange between them. These high-altitude grasslands, known as Bale Mountains National Park, offer a unique and challenging environment. The air is thin, the sun intense, and temperatures can fluctuate dramatically. Yet amidst this stark beauty, life thrives. The Ethiopian wolf has carved its niche here, perfectly adapted to this world above the clouds. Despite its remote home, the Ethiopian wolf faces a growing number of threats. Habitat loss is a pressing concern. As human populations grow, the demand for land for agriculture and livestock grazing increases, encroaching upon the wolves' already limited territory. This forces them into closer proximity to humans and their domesticated animals, increasing the risk of conflict and disease transmission. Another significant threat is disease, particularly canine distemper and rabies. These diseases can spread from domestic dogs to wild wolves with devastating consequences. Outbreaks can decimate entire wolf populations as their immune systems have not evolved to cope with these introduced diseases. The future of this extraordinary animal hangs precariously in the balance. Here yeah, section four, life at the top, adaptations for a harsh reality. The Ethiopian wolf has evolved a suite of adaptations that allow it to thrive in its challenging environment. Its long legs and slender body are perfectly suited for navigating the rugged terrain while its thick fur provides insulation against the cold. Their reddish coat provides excellent camouflage amongst the golden grasses and low-lying vegetation of their habitat. They are primarily rodent specialists, feeding on giant mole rats and other small mammals found in the Afro-Alpine grasslands. These rodents provide a vital source of protein and moisture in an environment where water can be scarce. Their hunting strategy is a testament to their adaptability and resilience. Section 5. Guardians of the Highlands Protecting a National Treasure Recognising the plight of the Ethiopian wolf, dedicated individuals and organisations are working tirelessly to protect it. Conservation efforts focus on several key areas. One crucial aspect is community engagement and education. By working closely with local communities, conservationists aim to foster a sense of stewardship for the wolves and their habitat. Another vital component is disease control. Vaccination programs for domestic dogs are crucial in preventing the spread of rabies and canine distemper to wild wolf populations. Research is also underway to develop more effective vaccines and to better understand the dynamics of disease transmission in these fragile ecosystems. Section 6, a call to action, securing the future of the Ethiopian wolf. The Ethiopian wolf is more than just a beautiful animal, it is a vital part of the delicate ecosystem it inhabits. As a top predator, it plays a crucial role in regulating prey populations, which in turn helps to maintain the health and balance of the entire ecosystem. Its loss would have cascading effects, impacting the intricate web of life in the Ethiopian highlands. The future of the Ethiopian wolf depends on our actions. By supporting conservation organizations, raising awareness and advocating for responsible land management practices, we can all play a part in ensuring that this remarkable creature continues to roam the Ethiopian highlands for generations to come. Let us not fail them. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't done it already and let us know what are your plans in order to save the Ethiopian wolf. See you in the next video adventurer.